Hi people, it's Nettie again. Okay, uh, as you can see, since I changed the papaya the pot, this is a way bigger pot. It doesn't dry out so fast. And look how beautiful it is. It is growing super big. And it's starting to have something there. I don't know what it is. It's very small. As they get bigger, then I'll show it to you. As you can see right there, there goes my um, Cuban oregano. It's wild. These, this you take a little piece, you plant it, and it goes wild. So that's why I got them in pots. But I'm going to show you the other one I have on the other side. As you can see right there, it's growing all over the place. They had a big spot right there. It was going all the way out. I cut it, used it for my sofrito. And um, let me see if you can see. Hold on. Let me see if I can show you all the way down there. Sorry if I'm moving the camera. There it goes. And I plant a new piece there so it should grow also. This evades that my dog tries to run in here. Um, he was getting the habit of coming inside the house and you know, inside the balcony. He had his own house. He don't want it. He just wants to be inside the house. And I cannot accept that. Because um, if he can't get out, he'll do his necessities right in the balcony. So, you know, he's a free dog, like a lot of these dogs around here. Because this land is my family's land. And this part here was the part that I inherit from my mother's side. My mother's still alive, but she gave it to me while she was alive. She gave me my, my inheritance. And so, you know, I'm trying to take, how you call it, advantage as I can, like to plant plants. You know, there's a lot of, this thing right here, for instance. Uh, my mother helped me plant it. There's cranberries. And they're the sweet, very sweet for some reason. I see the seeds and it looks like cranberry seed, but they super, super sweet. And um, this used to be a very big, in the other videos, it was very big, very beautiful. And what happened was the hurricane, when it came, it knocked right next to it behind it, there was the papayas there. And they knocked all that papaya. Thank God because the papaya saved from getting the car hit. So yeah. I still have the plant. We cut it, shape it up a little bit. But as you can see, it's still lopsided. I didn't want to cut all the way down. So, you know, and I see that there is, they starting to have seeds, um, flowers, because the birds hang out. Those blackbirds, they come there and they eat it all up. I, I, it's very rare. I think I tasted like 14 of those. My mom says you could just cover it, you know, with a cover. So they can't get to the fruit. So I guess I'm going to have to do something like that. Um, the next thing I want to show you is this. Look how beautiful. Okay, now I got in a big um, half a gallon. I put pellets there. Those pellets, The same pellets I use for my plants. I put it in here. You know, a few of them. And it's growing beautifully. This one has three um, onions. So let's see if I could actually grow onions. <laughs> I'm gonna let it there when they have lots of roots. They each one has their own roots, then I'm gonna plant it. And also I wanted to show you that you know I was having problems with this plant. I bought this plant from the store, you know, where they sell them, sell plants, and it started to give me problems. It started to dry out, it would hang. All the flowers fell. I only was able to get one eggplant. Just one. Which I used it for juicing. And naturally I drank it all into the, in less than a day. <laughs> so um, I cut it. Now I plant it down here. As you can see down there. This is a pretty big area. This is where I got my aloe vera. And my, my eggplant. And it's starting to grow. And they're looking beautiful. They're not falling down so far. And it has vitamins in the bottom. I pour a lot of um, pellets, 14, 14, 14. That it's, uh, I don't know. Uh, they say, oh no, this, oh no, that. But, I call it, it is a good, I call it a good um, pellets. Because these brown pellets, I don't know, they say it's organic. Uh, but I noticed they, I throw them in there. They don't give me problems. They do not welt. Because I put too much, you know, anything like that. So I like them. I have to buy more. Because I want to put some in my avocado tree in the back. The avocado tree in the back, some branches did break. 
my husband told me that it broke. He cut them down, but he didn't cut the tree down. It still has a pretty big chunk of tree that is on top of my roof. My yeah, on top of the roof, and it also has. Um, I could. I'm also gonna want to put some pellets in there too. So the other thing I want to show you right here is. My tomato. Yeah, there's three tomato here. Um, it was five, but two looked like they were dying, so I took them out. I don't know where I'm going to put them because I don't have the space. Now I got my corianders down there, and I'm planning to put more corianders. Um, I t like I said that before that I was going to show you how you could take a regular coriander that you buy in the store and how you can make them to produce. But... Uh, they bought me the the coriander but they didn't check for the bottom that was specified that you have to check the bottom where it has that like a little meat that's where you mess up you know that's where you put it there and you make them grow and as you can see as some are coming look how big they're getting they're starting to get beautiful it has uh one more growing here right there is one growing this one over here is new and I gotta water them <laughs> yes I gotta water them it rained but it didn't I think it wasn't without no wind I also have to cut that one because I have so many um, coriander seeds that I don't need no more so I'm gonna cut this thing there I've been cutting them so they could start growing beautifully this one over here looks nice you know so they're the I call it the seeds that I put some uh, they started to grow this one already grew there's another one there growing and this one little small one over there but I'm not gonna show because I don't think you're gonna see it so that's part of it I also have this one there's also in water I have to change the water it's getting a little fussy but um, it's only been there two days but they are starting to like try to push up so pretty soon the green part starts growing and um, I will have three there and two over here because the one I got over there and the other side that is also working pretty good. It has leaves and everything. And I cut them and use them for cooking. Let me show you one last thing. These um, strawberries, I bought them. And as you remember in the old videos, I gave uh, strawberries. But when you touch them, they looked nice and when you touch them it was all smooshy so um you know i asked advice from the people from youtube you know that they are old gardeners they know much about this you know even though i'm an old gardener i think i've been doing this like for three or four years but it has been hard to learn like to do it inside a balcony not like you know like they do over there but in, then uh since they told me that all they needed was um, high quality pellet um, vitamins so what I did was I put some of these pellets and let them grow there if you check over here let me see if I could let me put it just this way it's much easier these are homemade these are I call it two three of new babies coming out there so this is homemade I plant these seeds some of them I plant a whole bunch but the majority died because lizards will eat it I forgot to close it in the morning and they will eat it and um, how you call it or I dropped one <laughs> and I eventually lost all of them so what I did was I took the dirt and I put it where my coriander is at right there and what happened they started show growing um, strawberries in there but um, I, I planted that last summer and they showed up like three months ago Look how beautiful. So I hope this one grows good. And if this one don't help. Like they have strawberries again. But I don't know. I don't see the flower like so flushy. You know. So it doesn't look like it's going to be much of a thing. This one already looks distro distorted. Right there. I can't get it. Okay right there. This one looks distorted. So I don't know. If it gives it doesn't give. But I will keep putting vitamins on it until I get it right so you know this leaves are a little weird they were looking pretty when they came out of the store 
but now they look like a little weird and um, I'm gonna be watering them so today and I'm gonna leave you know try to make it that the water goes the pellet goes some of the vitamins of the pellet goes in the roots so saying this that's all for now God bless you all bye bye